High atop a misty mountain, there lived a Zen master and his student. Each day, the two would meditate together, seeking insight into the true nature of reality. One morning, the student looked up at the sky and noticed a solitary cloud drifting by. Master, he asked, why does that cloud wander so aimlessly across the sky while we remain firmly rooted in meditation? The old master replied, like the cloud, we must be free to move where the wind carries us in order to see the world from new perspectives. Do not mistake meditation for being stuck in one place. True understanding comes through movement. The student contemplated his teacher's words. He had believed the key was to sit still and focus his mind, not wander like a cloud. Yet his master was urging him to find freedom in moving freely. The student decided to test his master's advice. The next morning, instead of sitting for meditation, he told the master he would be wandering the mountainside. Very well, said the master, but wander with purpose, not aimlessly. The student nodded and set off down the mountain path. He walked mindfully, paying attention to his breath and observing nature around him. At a bend in the trail, he came across a striking vista of mountains and valley below. For a moment, his mind stopped its chatter, awestruck by the beauty. Continuing on, the student came to a gurgling stream. He watched it flow steadily over rocks. Despite obstacles, it always found a way, just as he sought a path to understanding. By afternoon, the student arrived back at the temple, feeling centered in a way sitting still had not achieved. Did you find what you were seeking? asked the master. The student replied, I learned to wander with purpose like the cloud, and I saw how movement can be meditation too. The old master smiled and nodded. Our minds are like the sky, open, vast, free. Sitting in meditation is helpful, but true understanding requires movement, just as the cloud moves across the sky. Over the next few weeks, the student made wandering the mountain trails part of his daily practice. Each day, he ventured to a new destination, traversing the landscape mindfully. He began to understand what his master meant about clouds and freedom. When he sat unmoving in meditation, his mind often felt trapped by repetitive thoughts and frustrations, but walking freely among the flowers and streams helped clear his mind, just as the wind clears the sky of clouds. With a lightness in his step, the student no longer aimed for a fixed goal on his mountain wanderings. Wherever the trail led him, he followed with trust, appreciating each moment. Sitting or walking, his meditation became focused on the journey, not the destination. Like the cloud, he realized, the mind's true nature is not solid or permanent. It is free to wander, change and find new truths. Movement is not distraction, it is the path itself. One evening, as the setting sun cast a golden glow across the mountains, the old master asked the student to take a seat. It seems you have learned well from the wandering cloud, the master said. But tell me, where is the cloud now? The student looked up to the darkening sky. The cloud from earlier was nowhere to be seen. It has vanished from sight, replied the student. But it is not truly gone. The water remains present in new forms, perhaps as rain or river. Indeed, said the master, like the cloud, phenomena come and go. Even our thoughts, ideas and experiences are impermanent. They arise for a time, wander freely, then dissolve back into the great emptiness. The student nodded, understanding the deeper message. Even his journey of walking the mountain trails was temporary, as all things are. Movement reflects the fluid nature of reality, continued the master. Sit still, wander freely, it matters not. Pay attention to the present wherever you are. The cloud you seek is always above you. In that moment, the student attained a glimpse of enlightenment. He saw that wandering and sitting still both held potential for insight, just as the cloud retains essence when it transforms. From then on, the young monk practiced moving meditation daily. He hiked to remote corners, swept the temple grounds, completed chores, all with mindful awareness, just as he sat in formal meditation. Years later, the aging monk took on his own students, to each he taught the lessons of the wandering cloud. Walk in stillness, sit with movement inside, he would advise. Mind is like sky, thoughts like passing clouds. 
let them drift without clinging. And when asked about the purpose of meditation, he always recounted his master's wisdom. We practice not to bind ourselves in stillness, but to free our minds like the cloud wanders the sky. From movement, we learn to see the world anew. So it was that the wandering cloud's freedom became the student's own. He learned that understanding arises when we walk our path with purpose yet openness, moving through life as the cloud moves through sky. This is Narrative Dreamscape. Thanks for watching.